Hi, and welcome to City Update. I'm Sherry Crop, and today my guest is Jennifer Ayer. She is the Deputy City Clerk with City of Fayetteville, um, and we're going to talk about some ways that you can get engaged in some of the decision making uh, that happens within the City of Fayetteville government. Um, so, Jennifer, I know that the city has many boards and commissions. Talk about that a little bit. So, our boards and commissions, we have 26, and what they are is they're a um, many of them are advisory boards and they give recommendations to our city council about different things that are happening in the city anywhere from parks and recreation to um, PWC and then we also have some boards that make decisions such as our planning and zoning boards and our historic resources and those are more quasi judicial which like I said make final decisions on items. So what does a person have to do to uh, be on a board and commission? How much time do they have to commit to this? So it really depends on what type or which board you're a part of. Mm -hmm. um, terms are anywhere from two to five years, depending on the board. And then generally they meet once a month. Sometimes they meet more often. Um, and then they also have special events. Some of them do that are, they're required to attend. Uh, you have to be a city resident. And that is the only... Uh, qualification that we have. I know that you have two application periods during the year or um, two different times, fall and spring I believe it is. Um, so when does the next boards and commissions uh, take effect? So the next boards and commissions, that um, application phase closes on July 31st mm -hmm. and then they take effect beginning in October 1. Um, so that gives our council and our appointment committee time to review every single application that comes in that's, um, that is eligible and submitted and they go through each one and make those decisions and council makes the final decision on who gets appointed to each board. And then we also have one in the spring with the application cut off January 31st mm -hmm. and those take effect April 1st. And uh, there's various uh, number of participants on the boards. They vary, right? Yes. Um, but this is a great way for someone who might have a special interest, like you said, maybe in parks and rec projects or uh, something like that, to come in and have their voice heard and help make some of the decisions that are presented to council. Absolutely. We also have um, our Fayetteville Next Commission, which is made up of our younger generation that is looking to stay here in Fayetteville and make our lives here. Um, and then we also have Senior Citizen Advisory Council um, that is here to help all of the uh, more senior residents make sure that their lives are as fulfilling as possible here in the city. Absolutely. So if someone would like to apply uh, for one of the boards and commissions, what do they need to do? So they just need to visit the Fayetteville website, that's fayettevillenc.gov, mm -hmm. and then they can go and find the boards and commissions, and then you can fill out the application online there. Okay. Thank you so much for that information. Again, that website is fayettevillenc.gov. Thank you for watching this City Update. We'll see you next time.